Hello everyone. Jackix recently released five new Slayer masks on the School of Fortune, and I thought I'd make a little video about them. And just as a note before we get too far into the video, the reason I'm not using the Orb of Oculus is because it's bugged and it made me black screen, and I I think it's just a bug with the orb. I don't think it's a problem with my system, but I'll need to check that out later if it continues to be a problem. Uh, so I'm using this sort of old school spot to zoom in on people. It's in a, it's by Mudskipper Point. Uh, down there, fairy ring code AIQ, I believe, and it's just, yes, I remember doing this in the olden days before the uh, Orb of Oculus was around, just a nice way to zoom in, uh, but anyway, enough of that. So the five Slayer masks, there's, they're based on different Slayer monsters, well, it, it's sort of queer based on the emotes that are shown in here, so I, I won't go into that, uh, but the Slayer masks, you get them from the School of Fortune, and they require you to do a certain number of kills, which will transform them into a helmet. And the helmet has a cosmetic option to switch between looks of the mask and the helm, and it also has an emote. And in addition, both the mask and the helms have different uh, actual effects, not cosmetic. So the ones that the mask has but the helm doesn't have is uh, while you're on the kills that you need to transform it into the mask, you'll get additional Slayer experience for every kill you do, even if you're not killing them on task. And you also get double drops every 10th kill, which isn't a really big deal since all the Slayer drops are so inexpensive nowadays, but it doesn't hurt, I suppose. And you also get the same bonus as wearing a Slayer helmet, which is the, I think it's 15% or maybe that's what it was before the EOC, I'm not sure what it is now. But you get the same bonus as wearing a Slayer helmet if you were on the task to kill them. So uh, that's quite nice, and that's those are the ones that are just for the mask. But then there are a bunch more, which I'll go into right now, which work for both the mask and the helm uh, after you get the kill count required to transform it into a helm. So first off, you get a guaranteed task. So once per day, if you're wearing the mask and you go to a Slayer Master for a new assignment, the next task you get will be that creature. So that's nice if you want to kill Abyssal Demons and you have the Mask of the Abyss. So that's quite good. You also get two daily teleports that can teleport you directly to one location that has that Slayer monster. So for example, for Crawling Hands, it can teleport you to the Mireditch Labs, the Taverly Slayer Dungeon, or the Slayer Tower. I believe that's it, although I'm not 100% sure on that. And uh, so the other masks have similar teleport options to their own locations. You also get double the chance of receiving the creature's trophy head drop, which is really nice if you're hunting for those. I remember when I did it, it took quite a while to get all of them, so I wish I had some of these masks to help out with that. You also get a kill count, so you can right click on your mask and check how many of the creatures you've killed while wearing the mask, and it gets tallied up to 1,000,000 minus 1, 999,999. And you can also, as I mentioned before, change the look with the right click option, just if you like the cosmetic look of the mask better, although I feel like all of the helms look significantly better than all the masks, since the masks are pretty much just the front of the helms with the backs cut off. Um, yeah, And also all ten of the masks and helms act as face masks, and the Basilisk and Cockatrice ones also act as a mirror shield, which is nice. Uh, that's something new. You've always had to use a shield on those, so now you won't have to. Although I doubt all that many people will slay Basilisks and Cockatrices now, but I guess it's nice for new players. Uh, so, yep, that's really it for the Slayer Masks, and um, next on to the Sky Pouncer outfit. And this one is a cosmetic set that was released with the red prepaid membership card, so if you get one of those, I believe it's before April 30th, you can get the cosmetic outfit. And if you have a Sky Pouncer pet, yeah, it looks pretty good with it, I'd say. So that's really it for this video. Thanks to FatRect for modeling everything for me, that was really great and convenient, and thanks to everyone for watching.